Hi everybody and welcome to the Meta Tailor YouTube channel. Today we're going to be creating an outfit for a metahuman that we can use in Unreal. So what we'll be doing is we're going to the metahuman website, we're going to create our own metahuman and export that out of there and bring it into Unreal Engine. Inside Unreal Engine we'll do a couple tweaks and then export that out as an FBX. We'll take that FBX, bring it into Meta Tailor, get it dressed in any outfit we want, take that out of just the clothes out of Meta Tailor, and then we're gonna bring that back into Unreal where we can put those clothes back on that original MetaHuman avatar. And we can do this with any clothes and you can swap these clothes out as you need it once you set up all of these things. You can build yourself this virtual wardrobe that you can dress your avatar in whatever you want. So make sure you like and subscribe down below and let's go ahead and jump into the MetaHuman app where we'll create our human to start. Here we are in the MetaHuman web app. Before you go in, you wanna make sure you're signed in appropriately across all channels. Make sure that this login matches your Quixel login, matches your Unreal login, matches all the logins that you come across. Otherwise, if you have anything that's off, you won't be able to see your MetaHumans. The other thing you wanna double check as well is right here, you wanna make sure you're on the correct version of Unreal, whichever one you're using. Otherwise, once again, you won't be able to see your MetaHumans. So I'm set to Unreal 5.5. I'm gonna go ahead and hit Launch MetaHuman Creator, and we're gonna have to wait for a little bit, it usually takes two or three minutes every time, but then once we're in, we'll be able to grab our next avatar. And there it goes, we're in the MetaHuman Creator. And you can see my MetaHumans right here, a couple of ones I've created for other projects in the past. To create your own, we're gonna go up to where it says Create right here, and you'll see it gives us a whole bunch, and I'm gonna probably just grab Peyton or Oscar or somebody right here as soon as it, there it goes, clicks over. It is trying to use your graphics card in the web browser, the Google Chrome browser, so sometimes they don't get along and it'll take a moment for things to load or it'll feel a little laggy. Just hold off for a second. It usually doesn't take very long to get connected, come in, and then you can go ahead and create selected. All right, so I've got this Peyton character. I'm gonna rename them up here. I find that renaming them helps like ensure that they'll show up. So I put like Meta Taylor Peyton right there, and then we're gonna go ahead and zoom out on this character. Now you could take this character out as it is and put the clothes on top of these clothes in Meta Taylor. It is smart enough to do that, but we don't need to. MetaHuman allows us to take the clothes off. So I'll just go to the tops and remove the tops, go to the bottoms and remove the bottoms. And I wanna especially go to the shoes and change these over to flip-flops. By doing so, it shows us the feet with the pants, the shirt, the shoes. If those are on your model, it'll delete the faces underneath. It'll delete the legs, it'll delete the chest, and there won't be any polygons there because it's not as cool as Meta Tailor. Meta Tailor puts the clothes on top of the model. Everything else deletes those faces underneath to make it more optimized, to make it run better, but that doesn't give us those deformations and those movements we need. So Meta Tailor creates these beautiful smart meshes to go over our character. So that's why we change it over to the flip-flops. We can delete those flip-flops in Unreal Engine, but now we can see the feet and the feet won't be deleted and have missing faces. This character is ready to go. You can see up in the top right, it says all changes saved. I'm done with this character. I can go back to my MetaHumans. We'll see our Peyton appear in my My MetaHumans in this window. And that means I should be able to find it right over there, empty Peyton. I should be able to find this in Unreal. So let's go to the next step in our pipeline and hop over to Unreal and take a look at this character in Unreal. All right, so here we are in Unreal Engine. You can see I inject my installed plugins and I've got Quixel Bridge installed. You need to have Quixel Bridge installed to see our MetaHumans. I'll go ahead and hit launch. And once it's launched, it'll open up our project browser. And in our project browser, I'm gonna choose the third person option and come on down to create. And now we have our map, everything ready to go. This is where we can pull in our meta human character. So let's go ahead and go up to this little icon up here at the top where it says quickly add to the project. You can also pull that up in the content browser. And in there, we're gonna choose Quixel Bridge. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit stay here. And inside Quixel Bridge, this is one of those areas you wanna make sure you're signed in properly as well. And I'm gonna come down to my MetaHumans, my MetaHumans, and I should be able to see my three. Absolutely. There's Peyton. I can open that up. I have to do a couple steps here. It'll take a little while. I have to download and add Peyton. But once that's done, I can bring them in through my content browser. So I'm gonna start by hitting download. So it's done downloading, and now we have to go ahead and hit add and add it to our project. All right, it looks like it's all set. Let's go ahead and close out of this, open up our content drawer, and we should be able to find underneath MetaHumans, Peyton. And underneath Peyton, we've got a blueprint. And I can click and drag that blueprint into our scene. There we go, it took a moment to load, and we can dismiss these plugin issues. They're not actually affecting what we need to do, and our MetaHuman is in our scene.
I'm gonna go ahead and change their location. It's really important to zero out their location. It's gonna help us later on. It's gonna make sure Meta Tailor and everything can see it properly. And there we go. And it kind of puts her over in this corner, but that's okay. Because we're just using this to export her out for right now. All right, let's go ahead and open up that blueprint. And like I said earlier, we're gonna just go in here and we're gonna go into our viewport and find those flip flops and delete those out just so they're not there. All right, I can close out of this. And then with our character selected right here in our blueprint, I can go to File, Export Selected. I'm gonna make sure I go to my desktop. That's where I like to drop these. I'm gonna call it Empty Payton. It's gonna give us a bunch of options. We essentially wanna uncheck everything except for export morph targets. Everything else, I mean, you probably leave export local time and stuff like that, but everything else we can go ahead and uncheck. And then we can hit export. Takes a moment and it is ready to go. We've got an FBX on our desktop to bring in. Now that FBX is going to be missing our textures, it's gonna be missing our hair, but we don't need to pull those into Meta Tailor. If you want to, you can go into your character right here and go into the browse to asset or look up, look her up in the reference viewer, open up your content drawer, we can go to our materials, hair cards, hair, eyelash, go back up and some materials, let's go to body. Textures, there we go. And you can right click on this and go to your reference viewer and pull that out. If you opt to do that, I recommend exporting it out as a Targa, bringing it in Photoshop and changing it to a JPEG. The Targa straight out of Unreal don't work very well in Meta Tailor. Something that Unreal does when it's exporting it out breaks the Targas and they can't be read. So you just have to do that one extra step of running it through Photoshop. All right, let's go ahead and jump into Meta Tailor and import this avatar. Now we're in the Meta Tailor app, I've got it open. I can go up to a new project and I can call this Peyton and hit confirm. It's gonna open up a project with our default character and I just have to go to import and the first thing we're gonna start with is going to import avatar and find MT Peyton on our desktop. And there it is, there's our character, there's our body. Like I said, if you wanted to, you could bring in the textures and the hair, but for what we need this for, we just need the body shape. We just need the body to wrap the clothes around because we're gonna export just the clothes out because we've got Peyton working perfectly fine in, med in Unreal Engine already. All right, so this is all set, this is pretty good. I can go ahead and hit next step. And we can take a look at our landmarks. Some important landmarks, just kind of go from the toe upward. We want those toes to kind of sit at the base of the toe, so that's looking pretty good. Our heels are on the ground, our ankles are in a good spot, knees are in a good spot. I might not need to change anything here. Knees, belly, I could probably move the nipples out there sitting a little bit inside the chest. Wrist, arms, base of the neck, nose tip, skull base. This did an almost perfect job of laying all of these landmarks out. So I'm just gonna take a moment here and move these outwards and have them sitting on the farthest point of the mesh out here so that when the shirt gets wrapped around it, it knows how far to push it out. All right, so that just took a few moments to get into the right position for all our landmarks. But once our landmarks are set up on our avatar, they are good to go for any outfit in Meta Tailor. It'll help us just put any outfit on this Peyton character. Let's go ahead and hit next step and find one of those outfits in our content browser. So we've got our default character. We just have to go to our content browser, my content avatars, and in here we should be able to find our MT Peyton that we just created. Let's try to refresh it. Marketplace, my content. There it is, change avatar to Peyton. Awesome, let's go to our assemblies. And there's a whole bunch of assemblies in here. I love assemblies in our marketplace. Assemblies are just full outfits ready to go that you can use. I've got this Master Chef one here I'm gonna use. I'm gonna go ahead and hit apply and get that one on our character. But you can navigate into your marketplace and look at assemblies and groups and look at all the ones available to you to download as a pro user. Let it read through, there it goes. And look, with those landmarks, maybe just a couple tweaks here and there to get that fixed up, get that into position. You can see our accessory for our shoot spoon, uh, we'd have to put on our waist. I'll just go ahead and get rid of that. For our shoes, we can take a look at our shoes. See, I'm just touching up the pose match on our toes for this character for these shoes. Confirm. There we go, get those shoes into a better position and everything else is looking good. So now we can export out our character. Small touches here and there just to make sure the character matches the outfit and you are good to go. 
So let's go ahead and export this character out, or at least all the clothes. We can go to our export tab up here. Vata Design into export, there it goes, it's loaded. I'm gonna call this Peyton Chef. I like to have that go to my desktop, FBX, PNG, that's all fine. We can leave all of these checked. We're going to make sure avatar right here is unchecked. We're gonna uncheck include proxies. We're not doing anything with our special physics system, but I do wanna make sure it's very important that Unreal 5.5 rotation fix is checked and turned on. Now all I have to do is hit export. And then once it's done exporting, it'll give you this dialog box with the clothes ready to go. Now we just have to head right back over to our Unreal Engine file and we could open up our content drawer. We'll make a new folder in here under the content, call it new folder or call the new folder clothes. Open that up. Open that up. Open up this and click and drag our chef outfit into here. It's gonna ask him to ask us some questions. We wanna to go to animations and make sure our skeleton is set to the metahuman base skeleton and go ahead and hit import. And then that'll bring everything in for us. It took just a moment to import, but once it's imported, we can go in and we can double check this to make sure the character's skeleton is sitting in the same spot. Now, this is the important part. When we zeroed out our character, this is what determines whether or not that skeleton is gonna match. So we can go up, come up here to where it says skeleton and click on edit skeleton. And you can see right there, it is all matching. All of those skeletal points are following along on our outfits. Now we need to attach this outfit to our character so I can go ahead and close out of this now that I made sure that that is working. We're gonna find our character's blueprint. We can do that either, she's in here, or we can go to our content drawer, to our metahuman, Peyton, and open up that blueprint. And in here, we're just going to go ahead and add a new skeletal mesh asset. And we can call this one Chef Baton. I can click and drag that. And I'm going to place that underneath the body so it's in the right spot. Come over to my skeletal mesh asset over here. And this is where I can change it. I can go ahead and find that Chef. If I spell it right. And there it is, Peyton is now wearing our outfit. However, even though she's wearing the outfit, it is not connected. It looks like it would move around with her character, but if we go ahead and add an Adam class, something like Manny right here, we can see our character is not moving properly. So we need to make some connections to get that to work. So in order to do that, we just have to go up to our construction right here, come up a little bit higher, and we just need to duplicate one of these enable master poses. Pull that up here, take our chef Peyton and place that under our skeletal mesh component and get this matching the pose by connecting it through here like this. There we go, now that is all connected. We can go to our viewport, we can go to compile. And now when I click on our body and once again, change that anim class to something like Manny, you can see our clothes match nicely. All right, and that is it. So that's the pipeline for taking a MetaHuman into Unreal, into Meta Taylor, back into Unreal and getting that ready and getting that great character dressed. That is how you can create an avatar, give it its virtual wardrobe, dress it however you want and get that working and ready to animate in Unreal. Once again, make sure you like and subscribe down below if you like this video and you wanna see more videos like this one and otherwise go ahead and jump into it. Go do this yourself, go get dressed. I'll see you all next time.